Are you trying to deal more often with Johnny's striking out, yelling, and hitting when asked to do something he doesn't like, or acting hostile with no provocation at all? The latter behavior, obviously, is likely to be much more wearing on parents. And if you fit into that category, you may be a good candidate for a group where you can do a little venting and a little listening to others who may have it even worse. How about stress from other sources? If you're a single parent or one with marital problems, you're not getting valuable adult support at home and could benefit from a group. Likewise, if you have health, job, or financial problems, you're more susceptible to being worn down by your child's behavior. The empathy of others, as well as the clarity of their thinking, can help here, too. If you do find or start a parents' group, share the principles from this program and whatever else you found useful in this book. Be careful, though, not to give the impression that you are starting your own therapy group using this procedure. Only a qualified, licensed professional should lead such a group. In this book, I can't supply the ongoing exchange that a group provides, but I can offer a lot of the wisdom that the parents I've met have offered to me and to each other.